so now restore continues to the our three steps now we are doing the restore activity here for the restore activities so what we have to do db restore activities so we have to perform the take the full backup of full take full db backup of db backup of source system source system means your production move the backup files backup files to files to the target target level you have to move it then perform the restore activity perform the restore activity here so backup i have taken using the hana studio the source system backup i have taken backup and recovery system db tenant db system tenant db is enough where the actual data tenant db restore is enough you don't need system db tenant db restore is enough just to take the say tenant db backup so that created the this backup files here so this is the kps402 is like a our so target host here target host here so here what i am going to do now we are we need to move this files by again this one so one of the folder we can move the files to the one of the folder here one of the folder here so here what i will create it here so mkdir backup related folder i will create it here so then target side i will create the one backup file where i will store the backup related things then so here i am i need to move the backup files using the scp command at operating system level then the complete backup files the complete all the backup files so just i will use the this prefix name uh star i maintained the star right then that's fine actually then so scp command so directly host to host to transfer so otherwise i need to do i need to using the file win scp okay. i need to transfer to the win scp to my local my local to again the target two times i need to do the export and import operation of this backup files but now what i will do i will directly copy these files to the target using the scp command so using the scp command i will so directly transfer it here so here what i will do here i will go to this folder i will just copy the scp ipan rp star then so root target host name 192. target host name or ip so 130 colon slash media slash backup so here yes then host to host transfer host to host transfer here so direct transfer i no need to do anything directly i can directly transfer to the my target location see this transferring the files are getting transferred here this is the host transfer scp command it's directly coming to the so this one this folder here which one so this folder it is directly coming to the, it will be very fast also so it's done see is done almost at the size file is then fraction of seconds it got copied here 16 seconds it got copied to the so the target location so now the kp s4 na is our target kp so s4 na is our source production then we need to connect to the target database restore activity restore activity so this is our kp s4 na 2 here otherwise you can manually add it also if you want you can manually go to here go to kps4 hana2 then instance number 00 why because the database is already exist connect to the system database system then not sure whether this is the password of we are using what what is the password of the here here hana database is running already or not not sure then no it's not started let me start not starting i guess
stop. Then what I will do, I will connect to the user so system DB. But because restore and recovery, we have to perform from the system DB only. So through system DB, we need to do it here. Source, you have taken the backup and backup files, you moved it here. So that is done. Now, so now you need to do the this activities here. So we need to stop it. So once you've done all the pre-steps, backup, everything is done. Screen captures, RFC, user tables, main important things done. You have the backup files. So backup files, you need to move to the target location, KPS402. Once done, in the target side, so stop the SAP application. If your SAP is running on the target side, you need to use the stop SAP or MMC. You need to use it, stop it. Then application, you need to stop it, then perform the so restore activities and everything you can perform it here. Let me start. Oh, password, password, is it correct or not? I don't know. We need the system user. Someone changed something here. Let me check the backup prompt is coming. Recover the tenant database. No connection to database so SID ADM backup and recovery and recover that in the database this is what we have to use it but target at least system database process should be up and running then only we can issue the the commands will be accessible i don't know why it is not coming This happened right here. Yeah, all the process are scheduled here. So let's see. And also one more thing while doing the restore, source and target DB version should be the same. Or 
target should be higher than source. That is the one of the thumb rule, SAP thumb rule we need to follow. Source and target database version should be the same. SAP version is not a matter. But because you are doing the DB, so refresh activity. So SAP version is not a matter. Only DB version should be a matter here. Source DB, target DB should be the same. Or target should be higher than source. So that's, that is the important thing you need to check here. Here source is like a ana. Source is like a here HANA 2.0 SPS 07 target is a 08 right so then how this will be recovered so then we see what will happen when you are doing the recovery that is the important thing here so right click and do the recover Saying that they choose another. When you say target version, so does it mean uh, it improves the SPS or no? SPS means SAP. You are talking about HANA. HANA versions is a matter here. SAP, not the SAP versions. HANA versions we need to check. That is the target means target HANA DB version. HANA 2.0. And it is not reachable. It's okay, not a problem. Then what I will do, we'll use the same. Okay. So now what we will do, we will right click on the system DB. So recovery point of time, just recovery, backup recover of the tenant database here, which tenant database you are going to recover HDB. Okay, next. So then here you need to use the recover the database to the Specific data backup. Specific data backup means where the backup is exist in which folder, right? So that folder you need to browse it here. Which folder you have to backup exist here. So that one you need to give. So these options are on the same system will be recovered. No, we don't need. We need production data. Then that backup files we, we copied from the source to target. Recover. Then, so where is the backup catalog or without catalog? You need to check that one right where the backup files are exist here right where the backup files are exist you need to check that one here right so then so without catalog with the backup catalog means same database backup related backup files will be imported same will come but we need with, with we need the backup files where the backup is exist it's a file system backup the backup is located under here then the backup backup prefix name is complete data backup Click on the next button. Next, finish. So while doing this one, system will be stopped status, offline recovery. So right, so it's stopping the database. So then it will do the restore recovery of the that entity database and everything here. So it's a recovery because small database the recovery is done then you can check the I can validate the data so you can just validate the data of the data and entity database also you can add it here done 
So then database, once the database is up and running, then we can perform the post refresh activities. We can perform the post refresh activities here. So pre steps, post refresh steps, sorry, pre steps, restore and post refresh steps. These are the steps and activities we have to perform in the systems here. So take the backup, move the backup files to target location, connect to the system database, then use the restore to the specific data backup, which you copied the backup files. Then you can do the restore. Once the restore is done, then post refresh activities, which we will perform on tomorrow. Okay. So only so backup and restore. Okay. So these are the steps each and everything. We need to take the one word pad. Then all the screenshots, sage and everything we need to reconfigure after the post refresh steps and the part of the post refresh steps. So these are all the things we need to perform. So that's why we need to capture everything here. Okay. So tomorrow in the next class, we will perform the post refresh activities and we'll discuss about the how to install the add-ons. In the Tana database also, we can install the add-ons. So those things also we'll discuss. Okay. Any questions, anyone?